Hey everybody, this is Paul. Today I'm going to be showing you some important properties of logarithms. So here's the first important property that I want to show you. If we have a logarithm of one number times another number, we can rewrite this as the logarithm of that first number plus the logarithm of the second number. So for example, if we have the logarithm of 6, we could rewrite that as the logarithm of 2 times 3. So what I did here is I just, 2 times 3 is equal to 6, so really this is the logarithm of 6. So this gets us to this first step here. And then we can say that the logarithm of 2 times 3 is equal to the logarithm of 2, because that's where the x position is, plus the logarithm of 3 in our y position. So we were able to rewrite the logarithm of 6 as the logarithm of 2 plus the logarithm of 3 by using this property right here. So what if we wanted to write it as a subtraction? Well, we also have another property that's really useful. So a logarithm of a quotient, one number divided by another number, is equal to the logarithm of the numerator minus the logarithm of the denominator. So if we wanted to rewrite the log of 6 as a subtraction of logs, then we could simply rewrite log 6 as the log of 12 divided by 2, because 12 divided by 2 is equal to 6. So 6 equals 12 divided by 2, so these are exactly the same. And then we're going to use this property right here. And this tells us that the log of 12 divided by 2 is equal to the log of 12 minus the log of 2. So by using this property and this property here, I was able to rewrite log of 6 in two different ways. The log of 6 is equal to the log of 2 plus the log of 3 and the log of 6 is also equal to the log of 12 minus the log of 2. So these properties are really useful when it comes to manipulating logarithms. But anyway, stay tuned for more properties of logarithms, and uh, we'll just go ahead and see you next time. You guys have a great day, and uh, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.